you must be wondering what is a tangent? What are the properties of tangent? And what are the real life applications of a tangent? We will start with answering the first question. Tangent is one of the trigonometry functions that is used to find the opposite over adjacent. As you can see in this diagram, tangent for angle A is ratio of opposite to adjacent side that is 15 divided by 8. Here, 15 by 8 is the length of tangent. A geometric tangent is a segment or line that locally touches a curve of figure at one point but does not pass through the curve at that location. Tangent can be used to solve any problem, like how to calculate height of a tree. As you can see in this diagram, the length of the shadow is 14 inches and the angle is 16 degrees. So all we have to do is take the degree and divide by inches. So now we have 14 divided by tan 16 degrees, that is 48. So height of this tree is 48 inches. Let's take one more example. Here we will try to calculate how far the plane is away from the land. Again, we will see tan 23 equals 2500 divided by distance. And distance is equal to 2500 divided by tan 23. That is 5889 meters. The slope of a tangent line represents the derivative of a function at a point. This value is the same as the instantaneous rate of exchange of an object with varying length. So if fx equals to x square, the derivative of fx will be equal to 2x. If we take a look at the graph of x square, at point x equals 1, it will be equal to 2 multiplied by 1, that is equal to 2. And at point x equals 2, it will be equal to 2 multiplied by 2, that is 4. Tangents are also used in applications related to circles. For example, radio signals will reach a distance from the antenna on the tower to the horizon. The visible side to the horizon represents the point of tangency, where no other parts of the earth can be seen. Since a line tangent to a circle is perpendicular to its radius, this distance can be determined using the Pythagoras theorem. A radio antenna that is 200 meters tall can have a signal that reaches a distance of approximately 50 kilometers. Since the radius of the Earth is approximately 6380 kilometers, the equation S square plus 6380 square equals 6380.22 is used to find the signal radius S based on the geometric representation depicted here. I hope this cleared your doubts around the topic. Until next time.